everyone, it's Jillian and welcome to today's miniature themed slime video. So today I'm going to create a miniature slime palette and I'm going to be making 15 food inspired slimes. And I think that when anything is in miniature form, it is a hundred times cuter. So here is the palette that I'm going to be using and I first started off by picking out some charms that would inspire my food slimes. Then I needed to decide which slimes would be what slime texture. So I decided to make a little plan and I was going to make four different slime bases and then from this create the 15 food slimes and this worked out really well. There were also some struggles with this but you'll see. Jumping into it, I'm going to make a glossy thick slime. So I started off by adding some glue oil to a bowl and I also added a small amount of regular school glue. I'm also going to add lotion, conditioner, foaming face wash, baby oil and cornstarch and mix it all together. And with all of my slime bases, I'm not going to be adding any scents or coloring. Also, this slime turned out way too big. I forgot for a moment that I was making miniature slimes and I was literally going to need the tiniest amount. So after this, I adjusted my ratios, but I went a little bit over the top with this first slime. So that's okay, I have some left over, but definitely don't need this much slime. We're making miniature slimes and I needed to get that in my brain. So this is my first slime. Next slime base I thought I would use is a fluffy slime base and I thought that this was definitely going to be perfect for a lot of the food slimes so I'm adding some school glue and foaming hand soap to a bowl and then mixing this all together and then I'm going to add some cornstarch just to thicken it up a little bit. Now as you've probably noticed I have definitely adjusted my slime ratio measurements and I've got a smaller bowl and I'm using less ingredients and I just had to keep telling myself miniature slime, miniature slime, you don't need to make eight ounces of slime and I'm just going to activate this and then we have our second slime base ready to go. Now this slime palette definitely needed some butter slime so I decided to make a really nice spreadable butter slime and I knew that I was going to use this for at least three of my final slimes. So I added some school glue and lotion to a bowl and then activated it without adding any extras. It's really really quick to make slime but it's also not that fun. That definitely comes later so once I had activated my slime I'm going to transform it into a beautiful butter slime texture by adding half a packet of soft Daiso clay and mixing this all together. And then we have our third slime base.
slime base, I decided to go with a cloud cream texture and I was tossing up between doing a floam, a crunchy slime or a cloud cream and I decided to go with the cloud cream. So I'm going to add some school glue to a bowl and then I'm going to add a little bit of lotion. Then going in with some activator, I'm just going to activate the slime and as you can see, this is a little amount of slime because I was only going to use this for two of the slimes and now going in with some snow powder. I'm just going to mix this in until I get a really nice cloud cream texture. Now that the four slime bases are all ready to go, the hard work is done and it's time to get creative and add some food coloring and some scents and just get as creative as possible with these miniature slimes. So what I would do is I would get a tiny mixing bowl and then just get a little bit of slime from each slime bowl, if that makes sense, and then mix it. It was a little bit messy. This isn't actually how I like to make slime because I always end up covered in food coloring, but it eventually washes off and it's worth it. So this is a Simpsons donut themed slime. So we've got that bright pink with some super rainbow sprinkles and then I'll just pop it in an airtight container and put a label on top so I remember what I have and haven't made yet. Moving on, I also use some butter slime for a bubblegum themed slime, tinting it a beautiful bubblegum blue, going in with an awesome bubblegum scent, mixing this in and I kept getting scent all over my hands. <laughs> this was definitely a little bit messy but honestly I feel like in the long run it was quicker to make it this way instead of making 15 slimes from scratch I liked making the four slime bases and then like dividing it up it was also really fun and it was a lot quicker I feel like then I made an avocado theme one I scented it like cucumber water because I spent ages looking at my slime scents and I had no idea what an avocado would smell like. So we went with cucumber water because I don't have an avocado scent in my collection and I don't think I ever will. So we're just popping a little label on top. Up next we have a cinnamon bun themed slime. So I first tinted some butter slime brown. I also added a beautiful cinnamon and vanilla scent. And then I decided to swirl this with some of the regular plain white butter slime to get my awesome cinnamon look. And then I'm going to add some sprinkles and of course pop on my little label. Then I decided to make a pineapple themed slime. So first tinting it a bright yellow. And this is the fluffy slime base. Then I'm going in with an awesome tropical scent. And I also decided to add some really fun, colorful sprinkles. And this one was so much fun to make. As you can see, I got yellow food coloring everywhere, but that's okay. I'm a bit of a mess when I make slime. Then I decided to make a watermelon themed slime. So using some of my thick and glossy slime I first tinted it a very bright pinkish red that perfect watermelon color I also went in with some watermelon scent and then to resemble the watermelon seeds I used some black chunky glitter and mix this in and then popping it in the container which is the most satisfying part I felt like I was in a slime shop for a moment when I was packaging these all up and it made me really happy then I decided to make a popcorn themed slime, so tinting it yellow, giving it an awesome popcorn inspired scent. I wish I had a butter scent, but I didn't, so we went with candy popcorn. It was still really nice, and then to give it that popcorn texture, I shredded some foam and mix this all in, and then I popped this in a container as well. And we're getting there, you guys. It's coming together. Another slime I decided to make was an ice cream inspired slime, and I didn't have any purple in this palette, so I decided to make a blueberry inspired ice cream slime. So using some of that cloud cream, I'm going to first tint it a really pretty purple and then add a scent. And then once I was happy with it, I also decided to add some purple sprinkles. And then that was it for my blueberry ice cream slime. And then I went ahead and made a lot more food inspired slimes. And here they all are. Aren't they awesome? I'm so happy and I made sure to have a lot of different colors and I was really happy with the layout. And now that we have our 15 food slimes, it's time to put them in this teeny tiny 
palette. So as you can see, it's a very small palette and I feel like each compartment would only hold about a tablespoon worth of slime. And so many times I added way too much. So it's definitely very, very tiny. But again, I feel like everything that's tiny is really cute. So I just decided to add all the slimes first and then go in with all the add-ons on top and then I could go back in if I felt like it needed another color or it needed some more glitter. And now that all the slimes are in the palette, it's already looking really cool. I'm happy with all the colors. It's time to go in with the, I guess, finishing touches. So we have an egg slime with some egg Fimo pieces and an adorable kawaii egg charm. We also have the pineapple slime. Here I've made the blueberry ice cream inspired slime. Slime. Then I've got a cupcake batter mix slime. You can see the bright Simpsons donut slime. It was all about the charm for that one. Then the popcorn in the top left, second from the left, we have cereal. So I used some really adorable little pastel sprinkles and topped off with two little Fruit Loop charms. The pancake slime was probably my favorite. I added some clear slime that I had tinted and scented to smell like syrup and a little bit of yellow clay to look like the butter. But here is the finished slime palette. I feel like I went through that so quickly, but as you can see, they are all all shining in their own individual ways. I love the avocado slime. I really wanted to use those charms. We have some strawberry milk slime, the cinnamon bun. We've got a strawberry shortcake slime in the top right corner. Let me know what you think of this palette in the comments below. Also, let me know if you see one of your favorite foods in this slime palette. And I hope you guys love everything to do with this palette and love everything that's miniature just as I do. Please let me know if you think that if something comes in miniature form that it's a hundred times cuter. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. I love you all so, so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!